Hello everyone. We will continue the topic O data. And in the previous videos, we started with O data service creation. We created the project. And in the last video, we started with the second step that is data model creation. And in the previous video, we understood the complete meaning of data model. We covered entity type, entity set, and association. Now, what we will do, we will do the practical part of the same. So I will go to this SEGW transaction code. Do not forget to save. You remember, yes, in the first video, I forgot to save and my project was not there. So firstly, I will go for save. Now I will create data model. Now this is our data model. Now, whenever you are going for data model, yes, we'll firstly create a entity type. In the last video, we covered what entity type is. Yes, with the help of entity type, we will define the entity and we will define the respective fields into that particular entity. What is our requirement? Our entity is sales order. Yes, our entity is sales order. And we will simply define the fields, whatever the fields we want to expose from the web server, we want to expose from the O data service. By mistake, few times I use the word web service. Please ignore that word because I have a habit, yes. So you can simply consider it as O data service. Now I will create a entity sales order and in that entity, we will define the fields. Suppose we will take four to five fields from the VBAK table. Now you have two ways. Now what is your way? It's totally your wish. You can go for fields one by one or you can simply simply create a structure and you can copy from that structure. I always prefer the copy way because it always saves our time. Suppose I will go for simple example. Firstly, I will show you one by one. Then I will show you how you can go for by copy way. Suppose if I will simply click on to the data model, I will right click on to data model. Now I will go for create. I will firstly create a entity type. I will give some name to the entity type. Suppose I am giving sales order. Now I will simply select this checkbox. I want a entity set. Yes, I want a entity set because we are not going for single sales order. We are going for multiple sales order. Yes, we want an internal table. Entity set is a collection of entity type. And yes, it is just like an internal table. So I will simply select this checkbox. And you can see SAP is automatically giving the name of entity set. And what is the name? Your name of entity type. And after that, SAP is using the word set. Yes, in our current requirement, yes, we want internal table. So I have to go for entity set. I will simply go for OK. Now you can see in the entity type, we have a entity type sales order. And you can see in the entity set, we have a sales order set. You can see two things created automatically. Now this is our entity, entity type. This, this is our entity. This is our entity. Now under this entity, we need to define the field. Just take a simple example. You have a structure name. You have the fields in the structure. You have a table. You have the fields in that table. Similarly, we have entity and now we will go for fields into that entity. So how we will go? I will simply expand. You can see we are able to see properties in the last video I told. Properties which are just like fields. So I will go for properties. Now, if here you, your wish, you want to go for one by one. 
So I will firstly explaining one by one. It's very time consuming process if you are going for one by one. Suppose I'm clicking on to this button, append row, or you can go for insert. It's totally your wish. Suppose I am going for insert row. Suppose from VBAK table, I will go for first column VBELN. Yes, it is a primary key. Yes. Now I will pass that time. I will go for this F for help. Now your sales order number, I will take it as a very fixed or variable length character data. For this, we have this EDM dot string. I will take this. So I took the first column VBELN. I will go for simply append row. Yes, it will append because you all know append always inserts at the last. So I will go for append row. Now suppose second column ER dat. It is not primary key. It is date column. Yes. Now you can see for date. I will simply simply go for this EDM dot date time. Yes. I will go for next. Suppose I will check VBAK table. VBAK and this it's very time consuming process. If you go one by one, then we have ERZET. Suppose I will go for this append row ERZET. I will go for time. Suppose for time. Yes, I will go for this EDM dot time. Now I will go for again append row ERZDT ER num. Suppose I will go for ER num. Now I will check the type. Suppose this is again your character. Yes. Now I will go for VB type sales document category. Suppose if you have to have 20, 25 fields. Yes. You have to go one by one. Yes. Again, it is a character. Now I will simply, simply go for save. And now you can see we have a entity and into that entity, we have five fields and we have a entity set. How SAP created the entity set. Whenever we are selecting and creating SAP will simply add the word set after your entity type name. Now, if I will check the syntax. So we have a entity, it's a warning. So we have the entity type in the entity type. We defined the entity and we have the five fields into that entity. Now it's a very time consuming process rather than going by this way. What is the best possible way? Create a structure, whatever the columns you require, simply create a structure and just copy from that particular structure. Suppose I will go for simple example. Suppose I am going for SC11 transaction code. Suppose I am going for data type. I will create a structure of those five fields, whatever is exposed from my own data service. Suppose I am saying ZSTR underscore suppose sales order. Suppose I am saying service. I will go for create. I will go for structure. Suppose I will say sales order structure. Now I will simply take the five columns. I will go for control Y. You all know it's yank. Control C. Control V. Now fifth column is VB type. Now I will copy the data element control Y. Control C control V. Now this is your VB type. VB TYP. I will go for activation of this structure. I'm saving this as a local object. Now I will use this structure. How I will use? I'll simply go for my O data service. Yes. Now suppose I'm deleting it. I will delete one by one. 
I will go for simply this sales order. I will delete this. I will delete this entity set also. Now we will see the shortcut and that is preferable. Yes. Just simply go for your data model. Now right click on data model. Now you can see we have a option import. Yes, we have a DDIC structure. I will go for this. I will pass the name of the structure. Now you can, sorry, I have to give the name of the entity. Sorry, this is the name of the entity. But the name of the entity we gave sales order. Here I need to go the name of the structure from this structure we want to go for import. It's my mistake. Yes. This is the name of the structure. Yes, I want to go for default entity set. Yes, because we want an internal table. I will go for next. You can see it is clearly saying the five fields. Select those five fields because we want all those five fields. Yes. If you want to skip some fields, it's totally your wish. I will go for next. Now, your VBELN, yes, it is a primary key. I will go for finish. Now, if I will simply go for, I'll just firstly save so that everything will be there, yes. Because one time I did the mistake, I will go for entity type. This is our entity. And you can see in the properties, I got five automatically. Previously, you added one by one. Now you can see everything is there. Previously, we choose the type one by one. Now SAP is automatically giving the labels from the data element. Everything came automatically. So it's a best way. Just create a structure of those five columns and choose. Now, if you do not want to go over structure, no problem. You can simply pass. Whenever we right click and click on to import, just import from DDIC. Pass the name of the table. VBAK. Whenever you will pass VBAK, it will show you all the fields. You can select those five fields. If you want to go by this way, it's totally your wish. But I always prefer, yes, whatever the fields required, I always create a structure for those dedicated columns and I use into this particular deal, particular service. Yes. Now you can see all those five columns appeared automatically. We have the entity set. And when they see, you see, we have this sales order set came automatically. Name of entity type and after that we have the set. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we studied how to create a data model. Yes. So we took the requirement that in our data model, we will go for a structure of five columns. So what is your wish? You can give the name of the entity and you can give the name of the entity and go for five columns one by one, add those five columns one by one. But it's a very time consuming process because in real project, if you have to go for 20, 30 fields, you will add one by one, you will give the type one by one, you will give the labels one by one, nothing. So what is the best possible way? Create a structure of those five columns or 10 columns, whatever is required. If you do not want to create a structure, no problem at all. Just use this VBAK table. Suppose if I will pass the VBAK table itself, then whenever I will just go for OK, it will show me all columns of VBAK table. And have you seen? I selected all the fields of that structure. You can select whatever is required by you. Yes. So that is the most preferable way. And we are able to see the columns, whatever is required. Now, after that, yes, we have entity set is extremely important in our current requirement because we are going for internal table. Yes. So what is the name of entity site set is name of your entity type. And after that, the set word came automatically and it will play a vital role whenever we will select that data. Yes and will store into internal table, it will give you guaranteed 100% clarity at that point of time. Now in the next video, 
will simply simply generate the runtime artifacts will understand the meaning will understand the meaning of data provider class model provider class will go for all these answers in the next video so that's it in this video and one important point do not forget to save because i did this mistake at the first level okay thank you very much everyone thank you